Hey YouTube, I am back. I know I have been doing absolutely terrible as far as coming on to like be documenting my natural hair journey. Um, to be honest, I told y'all, you know, that I have a new job, I'm commuting. By the time I get home, all I do is eat, get ready for the next day, and go to bed. So, um, yeah, um, my schedule is actually getting ready to change. I'll be working a little bit later. So, um, maybe I'll film, I don't know, maybe I'll, <coughs> excuse me, have more energy or something. And I'll start doing more videos. I don't know. Or maybe I'll do them before I go to work. Maybe that'll work. I don't know. But I'm going to try my best to do better, y'all. Um, I did celebrate my one month anniversary of being natural. Um, was it Tuesday? I don't know. Whenever the 4th was. That made one month for me. Um, so today, I did something different. I have not worn my hair like this um at all ever i didn't ever think i would wear my hair out like this because i was like mm -mm, i'm always gonna put that eco style gel in my hair because it's my curls i need to you know try to get my curls to pop but i didn't do that today um i plan on staying in all day but that didn't really happen because i needed to go get some food and i need to go get my eyebrows done because these things are looking like a woolly bully wolf man so I had to get my eyebrows done. So, um, I deep conditioned last night, and that'll kind of get into the video. I'm gonna show y'all a few products that I have picked up. Um, CVS, if you're on the East Coast, I'm gonna get this video posted tonight. Um, they had buy one get one free of the Shea Mo Moisture. Most of you know that, but and I got the deep treatment mask. Um. I got this and then I got another one free. So it was twelve. Was it twelve ninety nine? I think it was. They're higher than CV. I'm not. They're higher than Target and Walgreens. So I don't want to give a full review on this right now. But as of this first go round of it, I don't like it. Um. It smells really good, but it did nothing for my hair. And I left it in overnight and half of the day today. And it did nothing for my hair, really, to be honest. So, it was a waste of time, really, to be honest. Uh, But, I'm going to try it again because I have a whole other jar. And if I find after this one that this does not work, I'm going to take it back. Um, take the other one back and get something else in the in the line. Um, cause I mean I've got it. Buy one get one free, so they should let me exchange it. Um, but yeah, so I didn't feel like doing nothing to my hair. I didn't want to put the gel in. I was like, I need to get my hair a braid, like, cause I've been doing the gel thing every day since I big chop. Um, so I just put some of my Cantu. Shea butter, leave-in conditioning repair cream on it. And I put some, this is my EVOO. Um, I have it in a little applicator, but I did want to show y'all what I'm using. This is from Whole Foods. It was like maybe six or seven bucks for 33 fluid ounces. Um, and I put a little band on. I don't have that much hair, y'all. But I, I did my first little puff today. I probably should not have because it's so small, but hey, it worked because I was going to put on my beanie, but I couldn't make it work. Like I was trying to twist my hair. It wouldn't say twist it. It's too, it's too short. It's just too short right now. Um, and I probably just wasn't doing it right. But anyway, I have a little puff today. And so y'all can see, this is what my hair really, 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 really looks like. I mean, besides the little Cantu Shea Butter, which is just moisture for my hair, it does nothing to actually really define my curls or anything. But this is my natural hair what it looks like um, without any type of really styling um, product on it and it is pretty soft it doesn't feel as um, moisturized as I want it to feel considering that I did deep condition yesterday but it's not hard or anything but yeah so that's this is my little hairstyle today so 
So I do feel comfortable actually wearing it like this. Um, I could definitely wear it like this to work and not feel self-conscious or I don't know. I mean, I I have, like within the second day of my big chop, I automatically embrace my hair texture. No, I don't have that curly hair. That's not my hair. That's not me. That's not how God made me. So that's fine. I am embracing how my hair is. So, yeah, I do like to wear, you know, my little gel in it to make it curl up a little bit. But that's just putting a styling product on it. I mean, the curl is the curl. But I just had to put something on it to make it pop. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, so, I like this little look. It's cute. I can't wait to have a big puff. Because this is like a really mini, 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 mini puff. Um, so, yeah. Um, yeah, I'm going to get into what I bought today. Um, first I'll start off with these little bands. Since I did wear this little puff today, I was like, well, let me get some little brown shades. Because I have some black ones, and that's what I have in my hair now. But, um, I bought these. These are from the Dollar Tree. So, of course, they were a dollar, and there's eight of them. And they don't have the metal clasp, so that's good. Um, I'm not going to put any other kind that have the metal clasp. Um... Not right now. I'm not comfortable with that. And then I was on YouTube this morning because I wake up super early. Even though it's Saturday, I woke up at 6 o'clock this morning and I couldn't go back to sleep. So I was watching YouTube videos and I ran across um, the, mil mm, the Mixed Silk by Silk Elements um, line. I didn't know this even existed. And I found that a lot of girls that were like, that had 4B, 4 type hair, um, a lot of them really like this. They said that, a lot of them, some of them said that it made their hair hard, but if you put a moisturizer with it, it doesn't. Ooh. Mm. Um, it doesn't make your hair as hard or whatever. But, I mean, I put a gel in my hair, so if I could just use this leave-in cream, so they're saying that it really makes their curls pop. So, and I've been wanting to find another leave-in besides the Cantu. So, um, we'll see how that works. I'm going to use this tomorrow. Um, I actually start working on Sundays, which I'm not that thrilled about, but I'm thankful to have a job. So, um, yeah, I'm going to use this tomorrow because it won't be that many people at work. So, if it don't really work out to you, then I can kind of just hide. But, um... Yeah, so I'm going to try this tomorrow. It was on sale for $6. And I got this at Sally's. You can find this at Sally's. They sell the Silk, Silk Elements line. Um, it's normally $7.99, but they had a two for six, I mean, mm, two for $12 sale going on. don't know how long that lasts. But it's supposed to be like mixed chicks, which is like, their leave-in is like $20-something. This was only 6 and you get way more. So I'll let y'all know how I like that. I am going to really do my best like to do product reviews on stuff that I'm buying. Um, so y'all can know what, what I like and what I don't like. Um, I probably already have some stuff that I need to do reviews on. But okay. And then um, I got this Hawaiian Silky 16, um, 14 and 1. Y'all promise I can read. 14 and 1 Miracle um, Miracle worker i cannot talk i need to get off this video um i've seen this like forever i used to want to like try this i used to want to buy this so bad when i was relaxed but i was like i can't wet my hair that's gonna mess up my wrap like i can't i used to want it so bad though um <laughs> if i knew how to edit y'all i promise this, it, this video will be edited like a lot um Oh, that's nice. This is on there. It's for the, um, Susan, mm, see, I must be tired or something. Susan G. Komen, um, Race for the Cure, it says that, um, from, uh, um, April the 1st, 2012 to March 31st, um, the... Susan G. Komen, right, um, uh, for the Cure... Oh, S S B H Inc. I guess that's the 
people who make this. Oh yeah, okay, that's what it's saying. They have donated um, five percent of their sales up to one million dollars. I think I'm reading this right. I might not. Y'all go look at it. I don't know. It's too small and I can't see it. But anyways, I got this to put on my hair when I get out of the shower. Um, it's supposed to be a really good moisturizer. So, ooh, <laughs> I didn't even know. I haven't even read any reviews on this stuff. But it's so thick. How is it? How does it work? Ooh, how's it gonna spray out? Look at that. I thought it was like like a spray spray. It's not. Uh oh. Okay. You should really do research on stuff you're buying before you buy it. You know? I don't know who wouldn't do that, but you, know, you should. No, I'm just being funny, y'all. Um, but yeah, it has the first ingredient is water. Second one is glycerin. My hair loves glycerin. Um, so yeah, and this was on sale for four ninety nine. It's regularly seven something. Sally's um, Beauty Supply has done something weird. They've taken all the prices like off their stuff. Now they just have these little stickers. Don't know if you can see that. That little sticker. And it doesn't have that is not the price. That's like the item number or something. But yeah. So that's all I bought. I do plan on using, like I said, this tomorrow for sure. I don't know that I'll try to use both of them together. I don't want to use two new products the same day. Um, but yeah. And then the last thing I wanted to tell y'all about was Bath and Body Works. Of course, y'all know anytime they have anything new, I have got to try it. But this weekend, it ends tomorrow, which is Sunday, um, September the 9th. You can get the new fragrance of Cashmere Glow in the two ounce bottle. They have it for a dollar. If you like them on Facebook, you can get it free. My guy did. And I did get two of them free because we have two different um, Bath and Body Works. And I went to both of them. So I got two. But, and I do suggest, let me give y'all a little tidbit. If you find that you like a new fragrance, um, hold on, just y'all hold on one second. I should definitely always I should have been prepared and I am sorry, but I didn't think I was gonna be explaining this. If you find that you like a particular body lotion or the scent or whatever from Bath and Body Works, go ahead and try out the two ounce that first day you get it. Or if you think you really are going to like it, go ahead and buy more than one. You can end up buying and spending um, $4, which would actually equal the big size versus, this is an old one, so I think it's like 12 or $13 now for the lotion just itself. I don't have a new big size. I don't think I bought anything. But if you think you're going to like something, go ahead and get like some of the little ones. Then you don't have to buy the big one. Because I know personally, I'd rather have the small one. Because then it's not the, the air and everything's not hitting it all at once or whatever. And then it's, it's great for travel, putting in your purse, whatever. Um, I did use this last night and I use it today. I really can't. I really can't smell it right now, but it reminds me of Twilight Wood, to be completely honest. I have found the last couple of years that what Bath & Body Works is doing when they bring out new scents is just changing the name on something old that they have discontinued and bringing it right back out under a different name. And they did that with the um, Moonlight Magic. They brought it back out as Secret Wonderland, which, I mean, I was happy because then I was able to get the body spray and stuff. But, it's kind of like cheating to me, but whatever. Yeah, it smells good. It's like definitely a fall scent, so I was happy to be able to get something new for the fall. But I did want to tell you all about that little deal that was going on, and yeah. So, that's all that I'm going to go over today, and like I said, I promise I'm going to try my best to start back doing videos. Um, I'll be working Sunday to Thursday. 
So now I have Friday and Saturday off. So maybe um, maybe I can do some videos on Friday. I don't know. I'm, this is going to be new to me. I, I haven't ever had like a weekday off in any of my jobs. Like it's going to be weird. It's going to be different. But I guess I'll get used to it. I just I really just don't like the fact that I'm not going to be able to go to church. So we'll see how long this lasts. But, um, yeah, so I hope you all have a great rest of the weekend. If you have any questions, um, please let me know, and I will definitely get back to you as soon as I can. Bye.